Ikani Christ Learning Institution. Nita go till tuition. Nita go hard, no sleep. Talk kush on. Talk kush on. Off my sight, mistake confusion. Any mind pollution doing good? I'll push on. Art is an expression out of inspiration, a silent weapon that speaks to the mind and to the heart. This tool of communication has become a clear highlight in this century and particularly a trend in Kenya right now. Music, paintings, printings, photography and many more have become home to so many young people. So whether it is for communication, whether it's for entertainment or whatever purpose it is for, what exactly is it about the art culture? Join me, Maria Macau, here on Solutions Barabarani as we answer that question. I me, mean, she says she no know. Can't be face to me. You do look positive. You can't get something from me. Well, you no call, no call me name so. Well, you no call, you no call, no call me name so. Yo. Art ndio at least nikifanya. Nasikia niko home. Nimejaribu kudo vitu mob. Lakini sisikiage. Sisikiage nikiwa at home. Lakini nikidu art inakuja tu naturally. Na bado at least ni ni kumse ni a positive inspiration mimi fanya paintings mimi fanya interior deco ya exterior eh ni kitu god amenipatia eh na hiyo ndio vipo nyenye niko nayo karibu yenye naweza inaweza make up nayo mimi ni modela video vixen na maketanga clothes lines and pia hairstyles mostly at least so far in a pay, she has complain about it. It got too poor. Mimi ufanya kitu nito a speaking word. Eh, kwa sababu spoken word ni kitu ya past tense. Sa speaking word ni ya sa hizi. But latu kai home idol livo yuku ati mtu wali lazo kwa sababu ye ni wa illicit gang hizo, vituka hizo. Nipuwa unaingilia vituka usani. Nipuwa ye utahani. Baya. I run an art group by the name of Nabis Creations. And uh, the, the group, uh, we, we normally do film, short films, we do documentaries, we do musical events, like we've done like uh, four this year. I had to find something that I can do comfortably because uh, the white collar job and uh, maybe the government set up here, yeah, any youth, kupatakazi, imekwane, hassle sana. Art is passion, it's driving you, it's a gift, it's a talent. So it's something from God and it's better off you clear off with your studies, then you can decide. Maybe you're qualified to do some, uh, maybe medications, maybe you're qualified to be in an office, marketer. It's, it goes well hand in hand with music because if you're a marketer, you can also market your stuff, you can learn the skills, business skills of how to promote and market yourself as an artist. This century doesn't recognize that like maybe the last, the last century did, you know, because you find that it's hard for someone to live on art. It's so difficult because, uh, first of all, music and art was removed from the syllabus. As a talent manager, when someone is fresh out of high school, I think the first, the first thing he should do, if maybe he has a talent or a skill, start nurturing it there and then. Don't lose hope. If you have something in you, if you have a skill, if you have talent, I think you should make, 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 make moves, make moves every day, don't give up. Art is pain, art pays. Art is taking people to exchange programs in Germany, Britain. That's exposure. You get to learn different things. I can say that art, art, anyone interested in art should follow, follow art. Yeah, because if everyone goes to eight to five, the world will not, will, won't be colorful because we won't have painters, we won't have comedians. Everybody will be in the 8 to 5 system. So we need artists to bring that salt in our community and in whatever we do in our lifestyles, everything. Yeah.
My name is Sami Lutaya. I'm a visual artist, basically a contemporary African artist. Uh, most of my artwork are based on African theme, social life, the day-to-day -day, uh, thing that people do. I didn't really choose uh, the style. I think by with many years of practicing art, because I tried different styles and, and eventually I found myself doing this. Uh, this is my 16th year as an artist. Art pays. Just needs a little bit of patience. Usually at the beginning, it's hard, because uh, you need, uh, you are still developing a lot of Art lovers have not even uh, interacted with your work, so uh, need a little bit of patience and then with time uh, it pays off. How I market my work? I do, I, I market my work by doing a number of exhibitions. I've done exhibitions at least every year. Uh, I do like two or three local exhibitions and at least one international exhibition. Uh, that's the main, uh, the main platform of marketing my work. Other than that, I have a website that also, and also the social media. Uh, I get my inspiration from the day-to-day -day, uh, people's life. I mean, a subject based on African women, children. Because I think there's a lot uh, if you are to write a composition about the African man and the African woman, there is a lot when it comes to the social lifestyle of the, of the African woman. She's a mother, she's a, she's a wife, she's a, she's a CEO, and she's able to balance all this, so there's a lot to... Well, for any young person venturing into art, um, uh, one, I know there, there are usually challenges in the beginning, but again, uh, you must be passionate about it or else you'll give up. Because uh, for you to start selling your art, uh, it takes time. You have to put your work out there for people to know that you, are, you exist. Uh, same thing with music. Unless you, you, you take your, your music to radio stations and places, people won't know you that you exist. After the government uh, scrap of uh, art and craft from school, I think it killed. Uh, because a lot of us who, who did um, uh, the 844 when art was there, that's what uh, encouraged us to be, to choose art, because we started there. As much as there was talent, but we were able to discover our talent at a younger uh, age. I don't think the, the education system in Kenya is supporting art, it's killing it. By scrapping art, it killed it. No, not everyone will make it to, be, uh, to do medicine, to, to do law. And so uh, it, was a, it was a bad thing, scrapping of art from the education system. You know? And then uh, the other thing uh, for me, what I'll always tell artists, Yes, you have the talent, but you need to improve it. You need to go to school and at least make sure that you've improved. There are so many artists' business, learning the business of art, learning the basic uh, principles and, uh, you know, budget. You make your budget, uh, how uh, bookkeeping and stuff like that, have an action plan, have a business plan, all that. Those, those are important important factor and things that an artist despite as much as you are talented you need to know this thing you know so that you're able to you act you're, you're in the art business and so you need to do it as a serious business i have uh, several mentees some that have already left uh, they are now into the arts and they are earning from it some who came when they just finished high school and uh, through my mentorship, they even decided to further their, 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 their uh, whatever to university. I have about two of them who are now doing art at Kenyatta University. And uh, well, my free time, giving back to the society, 
I met a young, okay, the, there's a children home where I go and, and work with young, uh, young people using art as a form of therapy because most of them come from either broken uh, homes and uh, families and some are abused. So I use art as a form of therapy. My advice to young people out there, art pays. You may not have gotten a chance to join a, a tertiary institution or, or university. You have your hand, you have your brain. There are so many forms of art. There is music, there is, there is acting like in film, there is, there is dancing and all that. And I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends who are not painter, but they, are, they, 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 they earn their living uh, through art. So you don't have any other reason to ever get involved in drugs and crime. You have your hands, you have your brains, and you can live on art because it pays. And that was a testament by Sami Lutaya, a contemporary African artist, that art does indeed pay bills. Be sure to check out some of his amazing work. Coming up next, we will be speaking to Diana Swan, who will be highlighting on the importance of mentorship for any young people out there willing to pursue art. Stay tuned. Now this entire week on Solutions Barabarani, our focus has been on the new evolving art culture. With me on set is Diana Swan, former general manager of Oxygen Media, to talk about art and mentorship. Karibu sana, Thank Diana. Thank you so much, Maria, for having me. Let's talk about art and mentorship in the country. Right. You know, so many young people are getting into the art culture and, and getting into the entertainment industry right. out of peer influence, out of, you know, they just want to, you know, fit in. What do you think about that? Well, uh, I'll start with saying this. You've mentioned peer influence, that they're getting into it because of peer influence. If it is more positive influence than negative, then why not? Absolutely, yes. So it's a good thing that they're getting into art because most progressive societies have embraced art. So it's a good thing that they're getting into art. And, and maybe talk about the people that are getting into it negatively, out of negative influence, because they're watching Kanye West, they're watching Rihanna, they're watching you know, stars, and they just want to get into it because they want to be celebrities. What do you think about that? Well, um, first things first, art is a passion. It requires talent. So most of the people who actually make it in that industry are people who embrace it as a passion. It is something that they want to do. And if you have seen, if you were watching, you know, the international artists or even some of the local ones, when you get into it with a passion, it lasts. But when you get into it for the wrong reasons, it rarely lasts. Yes. Let's talk about the place of a mentor in art. Do we need mentors? Do we have enough mentors in Kenya right now who can you know, talk to our young people and tell them this is the path, this is how you go about it, or are we lacking in mentors? Well, I'll tell you this. Mentorship is required in any industry, in any career that anyone is pursuing. So even in the art industry right now, we do need mentors. We need a lot of them. Are they available, readily available? Yes, they are. The only problem is we tend to identify mentors in the wrong way. We tend to look at the most, the most outstanding, or we tend to look at who has the most money, who's driving the fanciest cars, who has the bling, so to speak. But mentors exist everywhere. A mentor could be even the next person sitting right next to you in the office. Because a mentor, ideally, is first, like I, I could actually uh, expound in an acronym. A mentor, M, motivates you. E expects more and the best from you. N never gives up on you or lets you give up on yourself. T tells you the truth. O occasionally tells you off when you're going out of the path that you've agreed. And R really cares about you and your career prospects. So mentor could be anybody, could be even somebody in your family. 
they're everywhere. We just need to reach out, find them, ask for the mentorship, and we're able to get it. Who is supposed to follow who? Am I supposed to follow my mentor or my or the mentee is meant to follow? Who, who is meant to follow who? Makes who makes the first move? Yeah. I'd say it has to be the mentee because a mentor has already achieved what they wanted to achieve. They're already up there. That's why we're looking up to them. A mentee now has that ambition. They have the drive. They have, they have that hunger for success. So they need to take that initiative and look for a mentor and ask for that help. If I have made it in the industry, does that guarantee for me to be a mentor or are there particular qualities that are meant to have, you know, a to-do list for a mentor to be, to be a mentor or, or I just have to have made it in life for me to be a mentor? Well, not quite. Not everybody can be a mentor, first of all. Yes, you could have attained the success and everything, but to be a mentor, you need to be willing, first of all, to make that com commitment to a mentee. You need to be able to invest that time in nurturing somebody else's career, in holding somebody's hand through that career. So not everyone can be a mentor. You have to have that commitment, you have to have that willingness, you have to have that heart of giving because ideally you're imparting your knowledge, you're giving somebody else what you've learned so that they can also grow and propel themselves to a higher status. Okay, let's talk about entertainment, having a background from entertainment and just, you know, cover that up under the subject art. Do you think that entertainment is robbing us of professionalism in Kenya right now or what's your, what's, what do you think is the place of art in Kenya and are, are we going in the right direction? Well, um, now, art worldwide from time immemorial has been a very big contributor to any economy just as much as agriculture just as much as manufacturing it has been so art plays a very very big role in any society and the fact that uh, we are moving away from thinking that success is running, swimming, doctor, engineer, we're moving away from that and realizing that there are other professions that people can make it in. That is a good thing. That is a step in the right direction. So now that even in Africa as a whole, we're embracing art, art in terms of music, poetry, we're looking at photography, film, the whole industry is growing and there's so much more to be garnered from it. So we're in the right direction. Let's talk about education and, and arts. You know, so many young people, I have a talent, I have a gift. I don't feel like I need to go to school. What do you think of, what is the place of education when it comes to art? Now, education is something that should never be taken for granted. Never, ever. Education gives you a foundation in life. And with this foundation and the basic skills that you learn, even up to high school, there's a certain discipline that you get from education. And this discipline and skills that you learn, you actually apply them in life later. You do in our daily lives. It could be being able to manage your financing, finances, say maybe you're managing your own career, your own talent. You need to be able to manage your finances. You need to be able to market yourself. And the skills that you've learned from school that help you do that. And in fact, if you have the chance, you should be able to take school as far as you can, as far as you can, because life is, is strange. Life gives us some very strange cards. It deals us some cards. And sometimes when you're working on that plan A, sometimes you have to fall back on plan B to be able to still focus and grow towards that focus of you know, plan A. So sometimes those skills help you do that to be able to have a plan B and still work on plan A, yes. Okay, and let's talk about your managerial uh, skill. You know, there are some young people who have a talent and you know, they're coming from a place of disadvantage. They can't go to school. Mm -hmm. And so they're meant to be their own managers. So right. what do you think is like a to-do list of, you know, self-managers? What do they need to, to package themselves in so that the society and the corporate can also accept their talent? Right. Uh, first things first, we should never let our circumstances determine where we're headed or where we will end up. So yes, you could be coming from a um, less privileged background, but there's so, much, there's so much out there that you can tap into. The first thing you, you need to do is research, 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 research. Find out what opportunities are, are available for me. 
What's out there? What's not available for me? How can I make them available? Who am I networking with? Who are you talking to? You know, um, which avenues can you use to showcase your talent or your skills? There's so much going on in, especially in Kenya right now. We just had last week the first graffiti event contest just last week and it was sponsored by a very big corporate. We have so much going on at the Go Down Arts Theatre. We have so much going down at the Sarakasi Dome. We have so many events that showcase our local designers. There's so much, so many avenues that are open for people to showcase their talent and skill. We have events that just focus on spoken word. So it's about finding out what's out there. How can I also take part in this? How can I participate to be able to propel myself to a higher level? And apart from that as well, you need to now look for that mentor. Look for that mentor to hold your hand, to guide you. Because through a mentor, you can also now face those challenges yourself. You will be able to have that drive to keep going and never give up. Yeah. Do you think the government is, it, is doing enough to support art and, and talent in Kenya? And do you think the society is receptive of what these young people are trying to bring on board? Well, the government is doing something, but no, it's not enough. It's not enough. They need to invest more in the young people, in the arts and culture. So they could do a bit more. They could do a bit more. As society, the fact that we're opening up to knowing just that fact that art is something very important, art is key in our society, art helps in all these other industries as well. The fact that we have made that first step is very encouraging, but we could do more. Let's support our young people. I usually love this term, um, it says buy art from a living artist because the dead ones don't need that money much. <laughs> so we need to support them. Buy their music, buy their arts, there's paintings, there's sculptures, there's so much. Go and, you know, pay a little bit of money and, and listen to their poetry. Listen, go to the concerts, support them. It begins with us. Sometimes you want to access these people for mentorship, but then maybe some of them are snobs, some of them have very strict managers, mm -hmm. you know, around them, so you can't easily get to them. What do you think about that and, and exactly what should I look for like in terms of you know I'm doing music mm -hmm. I obviously can't go to someone that doesn't, is, doesn't know anything about music and, and you just mentioned that a mentor can be this person seated next to you so exactly what should I be looking at in, in the aspects of a person that I want to look up to when it comes to art okay. and just talk about the, the management that is surrounding these people that we want to look up to. All right. Well. Um if we never ask, the answer will always be no. So in terms of these people who have, you know, the tight security and the tight management and they never appear to be involved in, you know, um, reaching out to the community and being available per se, sometimes it might be the artists themselves. They might not be open to mentorship at all. So, and sometimes we also assume that Oh, they're all, you know, untouchable, unreachable, unaccessible, but we haven't really asked. And in this day and age of social media, we're able to access these people very easily. If somebody were to just post on this artist's page and tell them, hey, I am interested in becoming an artist. Can you give me a few pointers? Can you mentor me? What's the worst case scenario? You'll get a no. You move on to the next one. It's all about not giving up. That one might not have been the perfect one. And a mentor doesn't exactly have to be that person who has reached the peak of their career. It could be somebody who you want to be like in the next one year. It could be somebody who you want to be like in the next five, ten years. So there are different stages, there are different mentors. You can start with maybe an artist who's been in the industry, say, one, two years. You go and ask them. Most of the time, the ones who haven't really made it to the peak are interested in sharing what their challenges were, how they made it. Those are the ones who are most open to people. The rest, as they go, they go up the ladder, they get more guarded, which is understandable. It happens in any society. But you just start where you can, to the one, with the one who you can reach, the one who's accessible. It could be the local you know, recording artist there. 
the one who you even see him walking about with the local and talking to the local wananchi. Approach them, approach them, talk to them, tell them, hey, could you be able to give me a few pointers? What do I do? You know, where do I start? Who do I see? It could be anyone, like I said, somebody who's even seated next to you. But then again, you want to concentrate on the mentors who are in the career that you're pursuing. Yes. Are you artistic yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's well, awesome. <laughs> I like to think I am, but that is, um, you know, uh, many opinions could be put to that. But I, I love the arts. I love music. And even, even I, I visit so many galleries. There's quite a number of galleries that are going around. I appreciate beauty and I appreciate what our young people are doing. And I do try to support where I can. And so it's possible to live on art and... Yes, it is. And uh, right now, how Kenya is progressing, it is possible to live off your art, out, off your skills, off your talent. It is possible. You just need to work hard at it. Yes. Thank you so much, Diana Swan, for making time. Thank you for having me. There you have it, Diana Swan, on the topic art and mentorship. So it is possible to live out of your art. You just need to align yourself with the right mentors. This has been Solutions Barabarani on the topic art culture with me, Maria Macau. Until next week, God bless you. Bem roho, my flesh, ndaguta. Roho thai mbaka maguta. Christ, my ukuta. Hakuna kitu out and vuta. Hakuna vile nitajuta. I, the result of the right choice. So I'm a just don't make noise. I'm a God's voice. I'm a stand out in boys. I'm strong.